Hello there everybody, I'm Rix here with another LEGO news video and this is for the Avengers Endgame sets that have been revealed on Amazon France. Now anyway, uh, I already did a quick video on this and I decided like themes that I really like I'm going to do in depth videos like quick news videos and in depth ones just like I did with the Star Wars sets but then I didn't really care for the Ninjago one so I didn't do an in depth video. Now uh, these do have some minor spoilers, the major spoilers I think that these have are what's not here, like, theories we get had, but, you know, now that we don't have figures of the characters we thought we'd return, we're doubting those theories, so that's the major spoilers, and the last thing, and this is the problem with all sets, they use quantum realm suits, they are white, and that is gonna bore me really quickly, and another thing is, like, it's because now you can't use any of the minifigures outside this Avengers Endgame setting because they all have Quantum Realm suits on. But let's take a look at this $20 Captain America Outrider attack. This set sucks. And, like, it's official. Battle packs are now $20. They used to be 12 then 15 now 20 Lego is... These are just way too overpriced. But anyway, four figures. Uh, I'm happy getting three Outriders in this set because, you know, it's a good army builder. But then, you know, throughout all the other sets, if you buy all the sets, you could have, like, ten Outriders. And that's enough. So, I don't know. Figure selection isn't that great. The only good thing is Cap because he has a molded helmet, which I've been asking for. But then again, he has the Quantum Realm suit, so you can't use him in any other setting but this one and then the bike is just way too blocky way too blocky like look how big that thing is so oversized it, it it's just such a bad build and then his shield returns which we saw in the super bowl tv spot or at least the uh underside of it so eh, that's kind of spoiler but mm, for the most part not and notice uh the box art back there uh it does change along sets showing different heroes but anyway i love the new molded helmet which i've been asking for or kind of cap piece i'd say and then you got a new, uh, three outriders and then again you can just see how big that bike is just way too big i would have um, like if they included a motorcycle in this set so I could take apart the bike four pieces and just have the figures and then use the motorcycle instead of this so blocky thing. But anyway, this is the War Machine Buster and this is a kind of spoiler. Nah, we haven't seen it in the trailers. By the way, it's interesting that the Outriders are returning in these sets anyway because you get another two here so that brings your total to five if you do collect both of these sets. Anyway, um, we get an Ant-Man and a War Machine. We didn't, it's hard to get War Machine, but he has Quantum Realm suit, so again, you can't use him in any other setting, and that's a big problem for me. Ant-Man gets a new helmet, which people are dying over, and so am I. That thing looks great. And again, I just have to keep saying it. Like, you know, these Quantum Realm suits, I can't use them anywhere else. Like, Ant-Man is specific to Endgame, and so is War Machine, which sucks. But I love how the box art is on one side, real people, and then on the other side, it is Lego uh, form. And then, I just love this color scheme, but it's rumored to be $35. Why Lego? $30 is a good price. $35, that's $5 overpriced. Sure, it's not a big deal, but just... Why? Why do you have to get that $5 extra out of us? But anyway, this has six stud shooters, uh, two flick fire missiles, and you can attach uh, another stud shooter and take it off War Machine and put it onto the Buster itself. And I just, I, I have to keep complaining about the Quantum Realm suits. Come on. The design is gonna bore me after seeing it on so many figures, and they're specific to the setting. So I can't use War Machine when I want to reenact events from Infinity War or... Civil War or any other movie he's been in. But anyway, this is a $60 set. You heard that correctly. $60. The Avengers Endgame Iron Man Armor Room. And let me just say we needed this to happen. I've been wanting an Iron Man Armor Room. Sure, we kind of got it from the Malibu Mansion tack. $60 for this is just so, so overpriced. Like... Uh, once we take a better look at the build, you'll get what I mean. But anyway, um, look at that build. Like, I like it. It's just that it doesn't have enough room for armor. You know, a lot of it, like, there's a little gumball machine or whatever and a coffee mug, some weapons. I like if all the little attachments with clips and hinges 
just had spaces for armor and if they included more armor for this. Anyway, you got that little central station, the dummy, which is a different build from the poly bag, hilariously. Two outriders, so that brings your total to seven if you do collect three of the five sets. And then, yeah, you know, you do stack it up and stuff like that. You can close it to a circle. The eager armor, though, it's the big blue thing that's brick built. Looks terrible. I don't know if it would have been better as a big fig, but, you know, just looks terrible with what they did with it. And everyone loved that armor, so that kind of sucks, but... I don't know, I love seeing the Mark 1, Mark uh, 5, and Mark 40, or is it Mark 7, Mark 40, I don't know. But, I don't know, this set could have also used a Tony Stark in just his black tank top. Whether or not that's accurate, it could have used this. But, $60, dang, this, this is, I see this, I think 30 If it included all the little sections, all had place for armor, and they included all those figures... And, like, you know, all of them came in the set, then yes, I would actually be fine with 60, though. Even then, 50 would be a better price. And by the way, there are only five sets in this wave. The Infinity War one had six, and this is more important than Infinity War, in my opinion, if not equal to, so it should have had six. I'm showing a fake Lego image here. Yes, please don't hate on me. But this is a fake Lego set, though I think it got deserved uh, to be shown. So, when I was in Malaysia a while back, Malaysia is filled with fake Lego. Obviously, I don't agree with fake Lego, so I don't buy it. But anyway, I saw this set, and I was like, um, like, I just walked by, and this set was on display, built up, and I was like, whoa, what, what's that? Like, because uh, I'm very familiar with Lego. As you can tell, I have my own YouTube channel and everything, so I was like, I need that set. That set looks great. And I and I was definitely not thinking about getting the fake Lego one. I was like, okay, I'm going to go uh, back home after Malaysia. I'm going to go to Amazon and I'm going to type it and I'm going to search Lego Iron Man, Ar uh, Iron Man Armor Room and then I'm going to buy the set. And then I was surprised to see that it didn't exist and I was disappointed. But... Guys, isn't this way better than the actual Lego one? Like, admit it, this is a fake Lego original design, not copied off any set. You can search it for yourself. But this is way better than the uh, armor room that we are getting. Just look at it. It has a place for some suits, and then it has Iron Man in the middle right there. Like, this build is genuinely better. I would pay $70 for this, though, uh, according to the piece count, which is 503 plus. It should be $50, and that would be a good price for an armor room. I think LEGO should have released something along the lines of this. Definitely not a exact uh, copy, but, you know, along the lines of this. Because this, this set is heading in the correct direction, and the correct uh, price would be $50. Like, just, I'm not saying LEGO should have copied this. I'm just saying this was the direction to go. Not the direction they chose, which was just clips and, you know, a build that is so consistent and, like, you do the same build, like, ten times and then connect them. That's boring. This is cool. But anyway, another cool set is Avengers Ultimate Quinjet. Yeah, Ultimate Quinjet. Um, it should be uh, 80 bucks, and um, people are hating on this. Honestly, the Avengers one is sucked, in my opinion. I was not a fan of the Ultron one, and... So many people are going to hate on me for that. Yeah, did so many stuff people will hate. I even showed a fake Lego picture. But anyway, um, my favorite is the Civil War one, which, again, so many people hate. But, you know, uh, I liked it as a small build because it wasn't too expensive. But this one looks great. It has, like, Shitari and all that, two Shitari. And then uh, the Kunja itself can hold, like, four or five figures. The whole cannon can go into the trunk as well as the buggy, which is a bad build in my opinion the buggy is a bad build and then black widow is changed again now hawkeye this brings up a question to me like it sucks because i wanted a ronin minifigure ronin is like remember in the trailer we saw like um hawkeye in black clothes golden stripes yeah everyone's calling him ronin because it's from the comics and i want a ronin figure i don't want this figure with again the boring quantum realm suit whether or not it's accurate just replace one quantum realm suit and give us a Ronin with a nice helmet and all of that. But, yeah, other than that, uh, I don't know how I um, feel about the build. I think it's definitely a great color scheme. Transparent orange and dark, dark blue. 
or sorry, not dark, dark, just dark blue. And yeah, yeah, uh, it looks really great. But here is the last set of Vendors Compound Battle for $100 for around 650 pieces. May I just say, that is so overpriced. This seems like a $70 set. Honestly, the build is nice, but it's 8+, plus, so it's kind of simplified. Though, uh, I still want it. But figure, you got a Microfigure Ant-Man with a Quantum Realm suit, an Outrider, a Thanos, which still looks so inaccurate, a Hulk, which if you see the box art right next to him of the Hulk, he has this nice kind of shirt on, which people are saying like helps him control the Hulk. Well, then they should have done that. And you can see in that tiny circle picture where like Hulk is just supposed to sit on the roof or something weird like that. But anyway, I don't care for the car or the helicopter. The helicopter in particular sucks. Don't know why Thanos only has two Infinity Stones. Maybe the other ones are here. But if all the Infinity Stones were there, I'd be so mad because... We all paid $275 to collect all the Infinity War sets to get the complete Infinity Gauntlet, but now it just comes in one $100 set, and I feel like it would be something to advertise. And it would also suck if it only had two stones, though. Don't know what they're doing there. And there is a new Iron Man armor, very similar to the old one, just golden arms, and I think slight change after that. But you got a little place to park the buggy, the helicopter, a meeting room, and then I think some kind of doorway. But yeah, just lacking. Like the Sanctum Sanctum showdown from Infinity War was way better than this. Though, so two big figs, so I understand the price. It's just, I don't know, not 70, then 80. For the two big figs, I'll give this set an $80 price. But yeah. Let's uh, do the overview. So this set, um, I think I'll only get one of, you know, now that we get so many Outriders, there's like eight throughout the whole six sets, which I think I'll get. I only need one of those. War Machine Buster, I dig that color scheme. And I didn't get the Age of Ultron one, so I'd only own two Hulkbusters. Like, people who got the Age of Ultron and Infinity War one are sick of Hulkbusters. But anyway, I will get this on clearance. And I think it will be on heavy clearance because no one will buy it. Well, so many people love this set, and I understand why. It's just... So overpriced. I think I will get this. I don't know why. I love this build. So many people don't like how it looks, though I definitely do. And I want to order some more Shatari loose. And I think I'll get this as well. I do not own a Hulk. So, yeah, I do need it. But, yeah, that's it for this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.